in order to go to my first trip in 2021 now I have to take out my car <laughs> pretty deep snow it was snowing all the night and of course now we have to do a lot of work <laughs> and our truck is also gonna be like all snowy and here is the yard the truck so I expected a little bit more snow but it's not so bad but this this is huge at least three trucks I think stuck so yeah I don't know how they're gonna do that but there's no way for those two this one is yeah it's quite okay but those two that's gonna be a problem for them. Pitmas loaded on the yard. Load bars on the place. I need the seal and go. I didn't film anything like for a long time I'm already at Toronto and I already got my reload it's just loaded and like ready to go uh, this delivery goes to Cornwall Ontario Walmart and the bad thing is about that it's uh, only for tomorrow morning so it's like six hours of driving from here and uh, I will stay stay there overnight there's a big truck stop BVD in Cornwall so that's good and uh, what else in US unloading was nice reload was nice everything was nice so I didn't film anything nothing interesting happened um, I don't know my plans after Cornwall but there is a Canadian tire like 50 kilometers away from there so I hope for that and maybe something from Montreal. We will see tomorrow. Small changes of plans. Uh, I spent the night at BVT truck stop in Cornwall. It's really close to my delivery Walmart but in the morning I got a call from dispatch and he said that another driver brings the trailer from Toronto with ATS load which goes to Moncton and it has to be delivered today well, I mean tonight and uh, this driver doesn't have enough time so I have a full shift and when we start from Cornwall it's just enough time to get to straight to the island. You have uh, a bit spare time to come in in Kilcoat or something like that and then if you continue to straight to home you will be at home. So we will see how it goes from there. I don't, I'm not sure if uh, they will ask me to stay in Moncton overnight and maybe to do some extra job tomorrow. If so, I will, I will be glad to do that. If not, uh, tonight I will be at home around midnight and uh, if I get home today I will be able to get out to next trip on Sunday which is good or if I will work tomorrow I will get out on Monday which is also good starting Sunday or Monday both are great because uh, we have a full weekend you don't get any reloads during weekend which is great
It's January 11. I'm already in USA. It's Walmart, New Hampshire. I have already went around the truck. Everything is okay. I parked my cart, shopping cart over here. And uh, I just bought some water in Walmart. That's it. Here I found one issue. My pins doesn't lock. So I have to pull forward a bit and it should lock. I moved my axles yesterday. It was somewhere here and now it's here. It should be okay with my weights, but I have to lock my pins. I have a really old trailer, 49. If the number after 95 is smaller, it's an older trailer. Somebody hit it here, quite hard. All the lights are working properly, brakes not leaking, so it's a not good looking trailer, but it's a working trailer. So yesterday around 7 p.m. I was already empty and uh, went to the closest truck stop to do a washout and I thought if I want to receive my next reload for tomorrow I will spend the night there. But uh, during the washout I got the message and uh, the, my next reload is from Newcastle, Delaware. So I spent the night in uh, Carnes Point. It's uh, really close here, like 15 minutes driving from here. And on the Google reviews, I found out that this company requires you to call ahead, make the load ready, and only when the load is ready and when they call you, you come here and back into the door right away because they have a really small yard and there is no place to even stay for a couple of minutes. So uh, everything was good. In the morning, I called and they, and they told me that it's going to be a couple hours, but I can't come to the closer truck stop there is one Christine I think Christine truck stop it's like two minutes away from here so I spent another hour or hour and a half in the Flying Jane Carnage Point the loading already started so it's good and the load goes to Anjou Quebec Montreal I will be there today but the delivery only tomorrow morning uh, we will see I hope they will take it today It's 11 p.m. and I'm already came to my consignee in Montreal. Actually, appointment for delivery is tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., but uh, they will take me now. I'm already on the door, so awesome for me. It's like five minutes from here to the truck stop, BVD, but I'm not sure how, I'll, how I will be able to find the spot over there that late, but we will see. I don't have any other options. I mean, I have almost three hours left of the shift, so I will find the spot where to park. If not, I will go to the Transworld, our yard here in Montreal, and spend the night there. Just fueled up here. Truck stop pretty full, but I was able to find the spot. A bunch of trucks here. And 
and I am over there. The red one. My next reload, I got Canadian tire going to Fredericton and Oromocto. So I'm on my way home, which is awesome. This is Fredericton, my first Canadian tire for today. I came yesterday around midnight and there is two dogs. I took the other one. I was wrong. So he woke me up, took my papers and asked me to change the door. And after that, I'm going to Oromocto. It's like 30 minutes driving from here. And appointment there at 11.30 or 11.40, something like that. I am at my second delivery. I was a bit late because my first delivery unloading took like three and a half hours. That's why I was late a bit. But anyway, the unloading started. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after. Dispatch told me, depends on how late you're gonna come from. You're gonna be free from here. We will see, maybe he'll give me something to do. My old truck. This is my Lola. My first time ever delivering to Walmart, and it's our Walmart, Walmart in Charlottetown. 